What's up guys? So you may recall exactly one year ago when I posted my New Year's resolution video where I took a poll to find out which monitor resolution we were all rocking going into 2015. The idea came about with the rapidly changing face of the display market as 4K and 21x9 panel adoption began to spread like the plague. While last year's video showed us where we all lied on the resolution scale, the lack of any data to compare it against made the results less than revealing. Well earlier this week I issued the same survey on social media to see how the market has shifted 365 days later, and I'm happy to report that the findings have already started to paint a clear picture of where we're headed. Here's the picture. I should also mention that these results are not intended to reflect multi-monitor setups, but instead focus on resolutions of the single primary display that users are computing at. So without further ado, here's a look at our data chart, which right off the bat we can see a lot has changed in just one year. Starting with the most glaring difference is the huge exodus from 1920 by 1080 which plummeted a whopping 25%, and it's pretty evident where users have fled as we see an increase in nearly every other resolution. Oddly enough, 2016 welcomes a higher percentage of users below 1080, but what's interesting is that we now have more Quad HD users than those deprived of HD displays, whereas last year 2K took a back seat. This can certainly be attributed to the influx of the insanely successful releases of Quad HD panels, like the Asus ROG Swift and the Acer XB270HU, not to mention the increasing affordability of high-res displays. While the 16x9 aspect ratio is still the undisputed champ, we also see some big gains for both of our 21x9 contenders. Many critics have had their doubts about ultra-wide resolutions in years prior, but our findings point to a sizable surge in user adoption that's likely prompted by the increasing market interest in curved displays and the fierce competition among manufacturers like LG, Acer, and Asus. As more offerings are released into the ether and prices begin to fall within obtainable means, you can bet that these percentages will continue climbing over the next year. Of course, not every aspect ratio is receiving the same attention. The 16 by 10 panels in our survey appear to have generated little to no growth in popularity since last year, which really isn't too surprising when you consider that they were never terribly prevalent to begin with. Try to name some flagship 16x10 panels that launched in 2015 off the top of your head and you'll realize you can't. The stagnation in our data suggests that while no one's eager to hop aboard the 16x10 train these days, users of these Hypo 1080 resolutions probably don't feel the need to upgrade, at least for now. Now it goes without saying that 2015 was a big year for 4K. Monitors, TVs, and laptops sporting the resolution popped up like daisies, a plethora of budget 4K panels were introduced, and the release of some powerful GPUs from Team Red and Green made 4K gaming more possible than ever, if not a tad premature. It seems sensible then, why more than double the percentage of users have switched over to Ultra HD since last year. Granted, the thought of owning a 4K display in 2015 seemed impractical to most of us, and although Quad HD still seems to be the go-to option for high-end gamers everywhere, it'll be interesting to see how the next generation of GPUs sporting new architecture and VRAM technology will shift our predisposition to 4K adoption. Factor in the support of DisplayPort 1.3, and 2016 could bring about a new wave of 4K panels that can be pushed well past the current 60Hz limitation, making Ultra HD a tantalizing prospect. Finally, we saw a big jump in miscellaneous resolutions outside of the ones that were outright listed. These are presumably users with uncommon dimensions that have been getting phased out for quite some time, or impending signs of the small but steadily growing army of the 5K master race. In closing, it's really quite neat to see how the display market progresses, let alone how quickly it does so. I'm sure by the end of 2016 we'll have an even clearer picture of which pixel preferences are merely fads of yesteryear and which ones are in it for the long haul. But that's going to do it for now guys, let me know what you think of these results in the comments below. Don't forget to toss me a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Before you go, check the description below for awesome sauce shirts like this one, and feel free to bookmark my Amazon affiliate link and use it when you buy stuff. As always, I'm Kyle with Awesome Sauce Network. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Have yourselves a happy and safe New Year's, and I'll see y'all in 2016.